what's up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to create a linkedin post generator workflow using anytime so let's get started to create a linkedin post generator here we'll need to add a trigger for the trigger i'm going to use an on-form submission trigger you're going to give our form a title so this is the form that we're going to submit an email address the topic and the target audience they would like to generate the linkedin post for i'm going to rename our form to linkedin post generator where we can give our form a description the form description could be on the lines of complete these fields to generate a polished linkedin post in under a minute and here we're going to add our forms elements the first thing we're going to add is the email address i'm going to add what is your email as a field name for the element type i'm going to choose email the placeholder we can say we can say name at email.com this field will be required you can add another form element it will be for the topic for the element type will be text and for the placeholder you can say topic of post this field will be required you can add another element for the target audience for the field name i'm going to rename this to target audience and the element type will be text for the placeholder it will be the target audience this field will be required and here i'll click on test app to fill out all the form I'll add my email address. Topic will be automation. The target audience will be digital marketing agencies. And then here I'm going to click on submit. You can see our form was submitted and res our response was recorded. You can see what we submitted in our form, submitted our email, topic, and our target audience through here. So I'll click on back to converse. And now here, Help in our data instead of having to fill out our form every single time we'd like to test our workflow we're going to use this data over here that we just submitted now with our topic and audience and target audience we can go ahead and start generating a linkedin post now to generate our linkedin post i'm going to use an ai agent to do that so i'm going to click on ai right here and click on ai agent here we're going to define below and add the prompt for the agent here i'll click on expression you can expand this another prompt for the agent where we're telling the, the agent that you're an AI agent designed to craft professional, educational, and, and engaging LinkedIn posts on a topic provided by the user. Here I'll add an option, then click on system message, and add a prompt over here, click on expression, expand it over here, and add a prompt for the user. The prompt for the system could be on the lines of begin every task by performing a real-time search to collect the most current and accurate information available. Tell each post to resonate with a specific target audience. Here's the topic and the target audience. Then here we're dragging our topic and our target audience over here. Using your research, create a LinkedIn post that opens with a compelling hook, maintains a professional tone, is clear, concise, and is to follow, provides educational and valuable insights, uses emojis sparingly and only when relevant. Also telling the agent include proper attributions for sources, like in this example over here, feature relevant hashtags to enhance reach and conclude with a strong call to action. Inviting for feedback, opinions, or shares. We are also including some output guidelines that would like the agent to follow. Only return the final LinkedIn post. Do not include any explanations, commentary, or additional text outside the post itself. And then here we would line in the summary of the workflow. We'd like to receive a topic, research the recent data, news, or case studies related to the topic, draft a LinkedIn post based on your findings, and format it with source citations, clean structure, relevant hashtags, and a clear call to action. So here I'll click on back to Converse. And then here, we require specific output then click on output puzzle over here here like i'll click on structured output puzzle and here we're going to add a json for linkedin post output so here i'll include this json right here so for the schema type i'm going to click on just generate from json example and here i'm going to add a json example so for linkedin post we'd like to output a post with a hook body call to action and some relevant hashtag that i've included over here in this json example so here i'll click on back to converse here you can give our agent a brain and choose open AI chart model. Yeah, you need to choose your credential. If you hadn't created your credential, just click over here, then click on create a new credential from your open AI API add your API key here, then click on save to create your credential. Since I had already created my credential, I'm going to close this. And here we're going to choose a model. You can choose the latest model over here. I'm going to choose GPT 4.0 mini. Then click on back to converse. And then here you can rename this to LinkedIn Post Agent. And here I'm going to click on rename. Here we can test our agent and see if it's going to generate for us a LinkedIn post. To do that, I'm going to click on test workflow.
you can see our workflow was executed successfully, so I'll open it. So here you can see from our topic and our target audience, it managed to create for us this incredible LinkedIn post over here with a hook, body, call to action, and hashtags. You can also choose to combine the output without having to output it as a JSON, just by turning this off and clicking on test step over here. But you need to go back to Canvas to test it again. You can see that our workflow is executed successfully. So when I open our node, you can see it generated for us an incredible post over here. So when I click on table, you can see the comprehensive post over here, which is incredible. Now, since it's it generated for us this incredible LinkedIn post, we can proceed to now generate an image. To generate an image related to our post, we're going to start by generating a, a prompt or image that is related to a post. To do that here, I'm going to I'm going to use an AI agent to generate an image prompt. Yeah, I'm going to choose to define below for the prompt. And paste the prompt over here. The prompt is in the lines of you're an AI agent that converts LinkedIn posts into visual prompt description for creating graphic marketing visuals. These visuals are designed to complement the post on LinkedIn, making the message more visually compelling and brand consistent. So here I'll also add a system message, and then here I'm going to click on expression, expand this over here. Then here. I'll add our LinkedIn post, which will be this output that we generated using our LinkedIn post agent. Here, we're telling the agent to analyze the provided LinkedIn post, identify the core message inside of takeaway. We're also telling the agent to generate a clear, creative visual prompt suitable for use with text to image generator. The results should describe a professionally styled marketing graphic, not a literal or hyper realistic photo. The image should visually convey the key idea the, of the post, be polished and appropriate for a LinkedIn audience, feel clean, modern, and eye catching. We're also adding some guidelines for the agent to follow. We're telling the agent to return only the visual image prompt, no quotation marks or extra commentary. We're also telling the agent do not restate or summarize the LinkedIn post. Do not leave placeholders like text goes here. Include numeric figures or stats if they appear in the post. We're also adding some style consideration. We're telling the agent think like a creative director or a marketing designer. We can describe flat or isometric graphics, charts, icons, stylized metaphors, overlay effects, bold typography areas, abstract elements, etc. We can also suggest layout ideas like center line titles with radial icon layouts, split screen with bold stars on one side and graphic on the other. We're also telling the agent write with an AI image generator tool in mind, make the prompt descriptive and directional. Then here we are at an example output prompt for an image, which is in the lens of modern flat illustration of a human brain connected to, to gears, symbolizing AI powered automation, light gradient background, soft shadow, header area with bold sans serif text, Icons of workflow elements orbiting the central design. So this is an example image prompt that we would like for this agent to output for us. And here I'm going to click on back to canvas. Here we're not going to require a specific output format since we would like only to output the image prompt. So here I'll click on back to canvas. Here I'm going to give our agent a brain. I'm going to use open chart model. Here I'll rename this image prompt generator, then click on rename, choose my connect my credential. For the model, we're going to do choose GPT 4.0 mini. Then here I'm going to click on back to canvas. I'll rename this to image prompt agent then click on rename and now here we can click on test workflow to generate a linkedin post and an image prompt for our image you can see our workflow was executed successfully so i'll open this node here you can see the post that our LinkedIn post agent generated for us this impeccable post over here and then our image prompt agent generated for us is incredible image prompt let's go ahead and generate our image to generate our image from our prompt i'm going to search for open ai click on open ai then down below click on generate an image yeah choose my credential we also going to generate an image i'm going to choose gpt one and add our prompt over here to generate our image, I'm going to click on test step. Here I'm going to choose L3 and then click on test step. You can see it generated for us an image. So here I'll click on view to view our image. It's an incredible image. It's visually appealing. I like the colors. Let's try generating another one.
here then return for the second one so i'll click on view i love it it's an incredible image wow it's incredible i don't like the text though it's not outputting the right text i'll click on test app to try and generate a clear image This is an amazing image. So here I can come back to canvas. Here I rename this to generate an image. Then click on rename. Over here and click on save. Here we can convert our image into a binary data. So here I'll search for convert and click on convert file. Then I'm going to click on move base to string six for string to file. Here we're going to add our data. I'm going to add our file over here. The output will be the data. And here I'm going to click on test step to output it as a binary file. And then here I'll click on back to converse. And then here we're going to send ourselves the image and the post. So I'm going to send myself the image and the post via email. So I'll search for Gmail. And here I'll click on send a message. Like we did previously with other nodes, you also need to create a new credential over here by clicking on create a new credential. Then on Gmail, click on sign in with Google. And then on the new window that pops up, choose the account that you would like to connect to in each end. And after creating your connection, click on save. And your connection will be created. Since I had already created my credential, I'm going to close this. And here, I'll input my email. To get my email, I'm going to go back to our form. Then in our form right here, I'm going to drag our email address right here. So the client you can say client components of LinkedIn post was generated successfully. Multi type you can say text. And here we can add our LinkedIn post and image. So here for the message, we're going to add our post. And we're saying here's your LinkedIn post. And here we're going to add option. Then click on attachments. Then here we're going to add an attachment. So our attachment will be the data that we converted over here. And then one more thing that we're going to do here, we're going to click on add option, then click on append and return attribution, turn this to off. And then everything is perfect. So here I'll click on test app to send myself. So here you can see we sent ourselves the post and our image. So here we can see the LinkedIn post that we generated using our workflow over here. So you can see it has an incredible hook. There's an incredible body and a call to action over here. Also adding relevant hash logs. So sending ourselves the image that we generated over here is the attached file, which is awesome. So here I'll click on back to converse. Yeah, I'll rename this to LinkedIn post. And then I'm going to click on rename. So now the next step, after you've verified if everything is okay, you can wait for a few seconds. So here, I'll wait for let's say five seconds, but you can choose to wait a little bit longer until you've verified the post. And then I can proceed to post it on LinkedIn. So on LinkedIn, just click on LinkedIn over here, then click on create a post. Then here now you can create a new credential and you can add your post over here and an image and your image over here but i don't want to post anything on my page so i'll click on back to converse over here and we can deactivate this so our workflow is pretty much set up yeah we are inputting a, a topic i would like to generate a linkedin post for we're also adding our email so we can send ourselves the post after we generated it then on this agent we are generating our linkedin post this is the incredible post that we generated for us and then we get our image prompt generator agent. We're generating a prompt related to our post to generate an image. So we can post it with our post that we generated over here. Then with this node, we're generating our image. <clears throat> so we can click on view to view the image. And I'm going to click on back to converse. And then we're converting it to a file that we are sending to ourselves via email over here. And then we're waiting for a few seconds to post the LinkedIn post together with the image in LinkedIn. We generated using our workflow. We sent the post to ourselves over here. This is the post and our image over here. Now let us try testing our workflow one last time. So to do that, I'll unpin this. And then to test it, I'll click on test workflow so we can fill out our form. So here I'll add my email address. For the topic, we can say, as target audience, we can say all our forms. And then click on submit. Our form was submitted. Here you can see we submitted our form right here. We went ahead and generated our post. 
and our image prompt over here now it's generating for us our image from the image prompt that we generated using our agent over here and we converted it to a file and we sent ourselves the linkedin post via email and we're waiting for a few seconds to post our linkedin post on linkedin so here when i open this node you can see our topic was seo and our target audience was law firms then this agent we are generating uh, an incredible linkedin post over here this is awesome then with this node we're generating an image prompt related to our post to generate an image and we're generating the image using this node over here so i'll click on view you can see this incredible image that is generated for us over here this is this is incredible and click on back to converse and we're converting the image into a file and sending ourselves the image the linkedin post via email over here then we're waiting for a few seconds and posting the linkedin post in linkedin over here so what we will do in this node is create your credential over here add your name or id over here then here you'll add your linkedin post that we generated using this agent over here for the media category we're going to for the, for the media category we're going to choose image and our image will be this image that we generated over here so we're going to drag it over here and click on back to converse in our email you can see the subject line of the email that we just sent ourselves together with the linkedin post they generated for us here's a linkedin post unlocking growth the power of seo for low farms is an incredible hook did you know that 73 percent of all online traffic comes from search engines for low farms implementing effective seo strategies isn't just beneficial it's essential for growth and visibility in a competitive market that's an incredible hook and here's the body of the post and then here we are including a call to action and some incredible hashtags adding our image over here that we generated using our workflow over here then you're waiting for a few seconds and then post in the linkedin post and linkedin so our workflow works perfectly here we are submitting the topic and the target audience that would like to generate our linkedin post and then using the topic and the target audience we're generating our linkedin post using this agent then we're generating a prompt for the image that is related to our post to generate an image so we can post the image with the post in linkedin and we're converting it to a file and then sending us the email with gmail to this email right here with an incredible hook body and call to action with some relevant hashtags over here then we're waiting for a few seconds to post the linkedin post and linkedin over here using this node where all you have to do is just create a new your credential then here choose your name then add your linkedin post that we generated using the linkedin post agent over here and then for the media category we're going to choose email. and then here we're going to input our image that we generated over here and then how to post the linkedin post in linkedin just click on test step over here to post the image and the post in linkedin using the simple workflow that we created in any time now if you have an ai agent or a workflow that you'd like for me to create using any time comment down below in the comment section and if i land on your comment and i find it intriguing i'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or ai agent from scratch using any time but for now Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.